Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am being guided to use the Royal Mischief deck for tonight's reading. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate, oop, toss out the rest. Don't try to force anything into your world, okay? And thank you so much, collective, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing, I'm so appreciative appreciative of it, um, as is the divine. Thank you so much for all that you do, all the kindness, you guys. Thank you. All right, so divine, what do you have for the collective tonight? What messages do you have? Okay, here. I'm not going to take this in reverse, though, guys, and they're all oodles of doodles. I feel like you guys may be making a plan, um, and other people are, like, watching you and upset. I feel like everybody's watching you. I'm just seeing all the eyes out here, and I'm, I'm feeling like these are haters. These are people that you don't resonate with anymore, for sure. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're working or doing something creative here and people are watching it. I feel like they're kind of picking you apart, you know? The birds pick at things, right? And I feel like they're 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 picking you apart. Watching everything that you do, kind of criticizing things, you know? Yeah, some people are just haters out here. Um it's grandma's grimace, so there could be a grandmother, somebody's grandmother that is like hating what you're doing. People have a lot to say, I feel, about, are you doing something controversial or, <laughs> because I feel like um, there's a grandmother here that is totally against it. I feel like um, there's a whole family here, I'm feeling that's against it, that are, um, just like I said, picking you apart. I feel like though that you may have somebody in your corner. Like if they keep talking about this and keep um, criticizing you, I just get the feeling like heads are going to roll, right? Um, and with this King of Hearts here, I feel like somebody does love what you're doing. And they're getting angry about all of the criticism. Okay, um, what's this? I feel like this is somebody, this could be like an emperor kind of energy here. Somebody that people talk to, someone who's very well respected. I feel like they're standing up for you here is what I feel like. Somebody is in your corner. I feel like they're standing up for you. If somebody, like, says something nasty about your stuff, this person's going to come in and put a stop to that. Uh, yeah, Moonlight Wedding. This could be a masculine energy that really wants you maybe being kind of daydreamy about being with you. You have no idea this is going on. Like, you're totally focused on whatever creative project that you're working on, okay? Whatever it is you're working on, you're good with that. You don't know that all of this is happening in the background. I feel like there's somebody who wants to rush towards you really super fast. Yeah, because they've been, so far they've been procrastinating. And other people have tried to like, um, kind of fish, fish hook them is really what I'm, I'm sensing here. They've been dealing with people that are just not for them and wasting their time, okay? And now they're feeling very rushed, wanting to get through to you, wanting to get to you, possibly wanting to marry you. This person is thinking about marrying you, okay? Feeling like a fool, right? Wanting to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, clarify that one. I don't like the way the devil... The devil and the star, huh? You could be out in the public eye. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Not that Capricorns are the devil. Don't get me wrong. I love Capricorns, but um, that's the card that it's associated with. 
Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces. Yeah, this person feels like a fool, man. They they did something impulsive. They they stayed with some in a situation that really didn't serve them at all, just wasting their time. Okay, and I feel like they're not happy about it either. Everybody else is, but they're not. Okay. Um they want to come towards you. This person wants to marry you. Uh, it's Moonlight Wedding. This is what they fantasize about. And I feel like this just gives me the whole, I cut my nose off to spite my face kind of thing. Like they, uh, they're they allowing a fish to eat their arm and they're holding the fish. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? Like they did this to themselves because they've been sleeping with the devil who's been very two-faced. This person hasn't been able to make a decision between you and the devil. And so now I feel like um, you're hard to reach. You could be a star. You could be doing something in the public eye. They may find it, they, it's very hard to reach you, but yet at the same time, behind the scenes, this person's sticking up for you, I feel. And there's a group of feminine energies that are going crazy. You could be like um, some kind of public speaker, singer, songwriter. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of music here. You could um, be intuitive, getting messages from the divine. And there's at least two feminine energies here that want to stop you. Okay, you could be figuring out people's secrets. They're looking very panicked. I feel like they want to stop your voice. Okay, does that make sense? They could want to stop you from talking, but you're a rarity. You're a rare specimen, it says. I feel like you're gifted. You, you're intuitive. You're an empath. You receive and deliver messages. I, I feel like that's one of the things that you're doing out here creatively. With whatever you're creating, um, you're doing it intuitively, okay? And I feel like these people can't really stop it. That bird is the divine. These are messages you're getting from the divine. And I feel like you're a light worker because you're so rare. And they can't stop that. You're working for God here. Yeah, but they want to. These people are stalking you. I feel like there's a couple of feminine energies that may be out there looking for you. Okay? spoiled eggs clarify that i feel like they're getting karma you know and some of these some of these people that are hating on you the energy is starting to now um kind of get in it's almost like it's getting into their family members children could be lashing out um this could also be kids going back to school too honestly Yeah, these people are wigging out. Everybody's starting to freak out now. And you're up here like, la, la, la. <laughs> la, 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 I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to be all kinds of happy and creative. I'm intuitive. I know what I'm doing, you know, getting messages. Um, just very peaceful on your own. You're very isolated from this whole entire group. Okay? And they are, they're all wigged out over the messages that you've been getting. I feel like you're spot on. I feel like you may have um, told them about their family, their their kids acting up, um, you know, things like that. I feel like everything you're saying is spot on and people are freaking out over it. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. That's just too many though, Divine. All right, what else can you show me here for the collective? Yeah, there's a lot of talk about you. Yeah, I feel like all the talk is about this person here. And I feel like they've been stuck between two different people or there's there's possibly two other people. Uh, I keep picking up on two feminine energies that are envious and hateful of you. Okay, and then this person comes out with two. Okay, I feel like they want, they're trying to be like you, okay? Because they're changing. See, in one picture, they look like this. 
and in another picture they look like this. So I feel like they're trying to be you or be like you, but they don't have the kind of intuition that you have. Okay, they get everything jumbled up. They don't know what they're in. Here's that evil eye, right? I feel like, yeah, I feel like they, they can't do what you do, okay? And even here, it's almost like they want to mirror you. They want to be like you, but they can't. They may get close, though, but they can't. Yeah, meanwhile, this masculine is out partying, drinking, you know, maybe even doing some kind of drugs. Look at their Google eyes there. They don't know which direction to go, up or down. They don't really know. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, see, they don't know what direction to take. And I feel like the divine is saying, you know what, if, if you want to get towards the collective, you need to go to school. You need to be schooled. You need to start your higher education, right? You need to learn uh, your, your soul path. Because I feel like this is you. You're just so special, you know? And this, whoever this is, look at how the hearts match up, right? The hearts match up. They can't be you. They can't be like you, but they, they're on their own journey, but they got it. They have to start doing their work. Whoever's trying to copy you, whoever is Google-eyed and they don't know which direction to take, I mean, this person really doesn't know if they're going up or down. They're out here drinking, partying, acting like drunken fools. It says so right there. Possibly playing with some kind of drug here. And I feel like the divine is calling to all of these people to do their work. Do their work. Their central focus is you. There's a masculine energy who's falling apart because they're in love with you. And there's a group of feminine energies that are trying to be like you and can't. And there's a family that's picking your work apart. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. And here you're the only one out here that has done your work and that is why collective you're separated from all of this fiasco mess because you did your work you are a rarity okay and butterflies do play in your hair right you're just special you're different and they cannot be you it can't be duplicated okay it can't be um, and uh, I feel like you're causing a lot of frustration. Your family's looking at you like, what are they doing? They, they, they don't believe in whatever it is that you're doing. I really feel like you're an intuitive, an empath. You know, that's what I feel like here. Yeah. See, they, they just want you out of the picture, these feminine energies. Look at this. They just want, there's a um, queen of hearts here that just wants to rip your heart out. They want you out of the picture, okay? They're literally, they literally hate you. <laughs> and you know what? You're just being peaceful. You're being calm. You're minding your own business. You're, you're the one who is um, studying your spirituality, right? Trying to do the right thing. Completely separated from this riffraff. And people want to, like... Um, they want to destroy you. They want you gone. That's just too many cards, guys. Gossiping housewives. Look at gossiping housewives. These people are gossiping about you. Um, they may be rallying people up against you. Yeah, birds of a feather. Yep, they're rallying a group of people against you. All they do is sit around and talk, um, maybe smoke together that's all they do they just sit there and cough and talk about you i guess that's what they're doing i feel like they're angry with you they're angry with this masculine 
I don't know if this family situation is this. I think this is separate. I think your family is like wondering about you too. You know, well, why is the collective doing that? You know, they shouldn't do it like that. Well, we've never done it like that. You know what I mean? Just, I mean, everybody's like on your case and you're out here as a beautiful butterfly, butterflies playing in your hair and you're just focused on your own stuff. And ev you've got everybody going nutty, okay? There's a, the, uh, there's a lot of people out here. There's a whole full-on family that doesn't believe in what you're doing, which leads me to believe you're spiritual, okay? Spiritual. You know, and then we've got a masculine energy who may be standing up for you here and defending you, I feel like this could even be the one that might want to come in and marry you. And then we've got this the karmics out here and all of their little minion friends that they're rallying up to. I feel like they're looking for you. So be very careful because these people may gang up on you. Okay? They're, they're going crazy because they can't be you and they can't stop you. All right, what else can you show me here for the collective? They just talk about you all day. That's all they do is sit around, get together, sit around, and talk about you. That's all that they do. And all that this family does up here is pick you apart. And you're just still, you have this beautiful energy, you know, very peaceful, very sweet, very... Um, creative very very much an empath you know and everybody's going nutty around you all right what else can you show me for the collective thank you yeah they want you gone they want you gone they want you gone do you see this the, these are backstabbers, too, so please be careful. He's licking blood off of that dagger. Okay? Two swords, two daggers, two feminine energies that want to rip your hair out. They could be doing some spell work on you. Um, I don't know, to change your looks, to make your hair fall out, things like that. But they are losing their mind. And remember when I said that they wanted to kind of quiet you. They wanted to take away your voice, right? Yeah, they, they may think you've got a big mouth. These people, I feel like they've got, you're speaking the truth and they don't like to hear it about themselves. You're speaking the truth and they don't like to hear it. Yeah, look, I feel like they're poised for battle. These people are coming forward here, man. You know, and what did I tell you about the daggers? I feel like there's a group of people that are, like, watching for you. Well, everybody's watching you, but they're watching... For um, a chance to, I don't know, um, come at you and try to bring you down. These people are losing it, okay? Look, whoever is suffering karma, those who have not done the work on themselves, they're starting to go crazy, okay? They're starting to get extremely angry, very threatening, um, picking p other people apart. They're not focusing on their own stuff. They're, they're sending bad energy to people. I mean, this is what they want to do to you, collective. Okay? That's what they want to do. So please, yeah, see, pop. Something's going to pop off. I'm telling you. Pop goes the mischief. Something is going to pop off. And each one, of, look, this person's fighting with this one. Each one either uh, is fighting or has some kind of weapon. Something's going to pop off, guys. Please take this as a warning. And I feel like it was, it's all stemming from jealousy and envy. 
not just because you're peaceful, you're doing your work, you're minding your own business, but because there's a masculine energy out here who's in love with you and really doesn't know what to do. And they're out here numbing. Okay, so I feel like they're drinking. They're, uh, it says drunken fools. They're drinking. They could be doing drugs. I feel if they're out and about too, I can see this is spell work. Okay. Something deadly grows in the garden. I've picked up on that in this reading. This masculine here could be under some kind of spell work because they don't, they don't have a direction. Their eyes are all kinds of effed up. So I feel like a masculine is under some kind of spell work. I feel like they're sending you bad energy if that you're probably under some kind of spell or they're trying to send you something but they can't keep you down because you've got this beautiful energy and I feel like you're protected out here but still be very careful geez guys um listen to this warning because I really feel like something's about to pop off all right now I'm hearing so you want to get something started, got to get something started. Is that how it goes? Is that Michael Jackson? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you. To high to get over, to low to get under. Yeah, stuck in the middle. I feel like that's your, yeah, but something's about to get, pop off. And I feel like you're just, you're, you're really just focused on you. You don't see this coming, okay? You don't see this coming. I feel like you're, um, you know, like I said, higher learning, right? You're doing your work here. Being creative, focused on you. Um, maybe meditating, reading up on your spirituality. Uh, yeah, going to school, doing your work on yourself. These people haven't, and I'm telling you, they're freaking out. Um, just be careful out there, okay, collective? You're not paying attention to what's happening around you because it's very calm around you. But in the background, you've got a lot of bad energy being sent to you. You've got people being rallied together looking for you. And I feel like, um, I feel like something's about to go down, pop off, okay? Now, this reading is not for all of you, so I don't want everybody, like, scared. But I would like for everybody to pay attention to your environment, right? Protect yourself. Cleanse your energy. You know, burn some sage. Um, talk to the divine, right? Keep, keep doing your work. Um, and just be mindful of what's going on around you, okay? Protect yourself. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I got to get this warning out there, okay? Um, I, I do hope this helps. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and it resonates with you, right? Join the Soul Tribe because we rock. And until next time, everyone, take care of you, right? And peace out.